Hey, this is Kim. I don't know if I ever covered my patchwork for you or not, but this is going to be a two-in-one because I've got my patchwork here, and underneath it I did a little life hack to my ironing board, okay? Now, no, if you ever make your own patchwork, make sure it's no wider or than your ironing board. This, mine, is just out of control. This, I'm going to show you in sections. This is one side. Now, you may have seen the picture. Here we've got an assortment of pieces. This came from a pair of shorts a friend gave me that were hers, but she knew I was looking for fabric and stuff, and I liked those. Most, some of the patches came from friends when I was trying to start it. Others came, or at this point, many came from my aunt which I'm still adding to, as well as some, like, I believe this one, and this, and the next one, all from Walmart. Here's some more. I'll try to do it the wrong way here, so you can see. I've got my Chinese dragon. I've been to Toronto four times. Here is, let's try and pull this up for you. Okay. You know, we've got a piece of Halloween that my friend Donna gave me. There's also a patch on here somewhere, I think, maybe, of a racing flag, uh, what looks like a racing flag. Here's my cat themed row. And then we've got another Halloween piece. This goes the length or width, depending on how you see it, of my patchwork. I've got all sizes on here. Uh, to me, those ones that have little designs and things, that's not patchwork to me, that's just quilting. This is actual patchwork in my point of view, because you're taking pieces and you're just working it in. It's supposed to be really leftover scraps, but as I said, <laughs> Don't make it wider than your ironing board. Make it longer, way longer. But, oh, am I touching? There we go. I also add, here goes another cute little thing I got from Walmart. Also got this piece, this Betty Boop. I made something for my Nana out of that and I just left the piece. This is these frogs. Are from a piece from my one of my mom's pajama pants, from a tank top or t-shirt. I don't know if I'm getting everything in here for you to show you, but I thought, why not? You can get a close look and see some of the new additions I've added. I still have pieces to add that I've made, but I think I may have to add additional to it. Walmart, Sharkies, well, I was trying to find a sand-colored piece to border that. Um, now, what I wanted to show you with the ironing board is, I don't know about yours or all of them, but this one underneath, if you look, is like that okay I didn't like how that worked because if I can find it I can show you here it like you can 
see some of the some of that through there okay that gridding all right so what I did and I don't want to mess things up I just took um, a piece of cardboard which you can see under there actually a couple of different pieces of cardboard I taped them together and cut them out and everything uh, this way you could um, this way I had a nice you know flat surface to iron on instead of a grid that could burn your clothes considering that's metal there so I hope you liked this video and I'll join me for the next one which should be soon um, I'm going to be doing a, a run through of my bullet journal when it's done before I start to use it. This way you can see some of the ideas I have. Uh, let's just hope that I remember to upload this before that. Okay, have a good one and hope that you'll join me next time. So long.